This is your bathroom. Okay. Uh, I would love for you to go in there. Uh, hey, pick your chair. Remember, because of your show. Now, usually the way this starts is I offer the guest their place to sit, their option. Oh, is so it? You, you, no, you can sit there, or you can sit here, or there. Where are you going to sit? Wherever, opposite, wherever you sit. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. No, uh, but no, that's more. That's yours. okay. <laughs> not, not as interesting. Yeah. No, I was just uh, paying my respects to your show. Okay. But that's that's you. Scoot do blabbery blue. How's your energy? How are you feeling? My energy? Yeah. Uh, fine. What are you in the mood? What, 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 like, what, what? You know? You podcast a lot? I just started. I've probably done, gosh, at this point, probably about 16 episodes, maybe? I'm I watched you sure. one of Marin and then uh, a lot of the, the Jason Bateman one. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like your podcast. Well, thanks. And I noticed that uh, you had diff- very different energies in the two of them, I felt like. Uh, yeah, well, I have two very different relationships with those, specifically those two people. Yeah. You know? And Marin and I go way back, have stand up in common. He's neurotic. Dude, and I know. While we're on the neurotic conversation, can we do a little better with this? What, just tell like, me what you want. Underneath? All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to like that. Okay, great. Let me, uh. You don't need the cans if you don't I, want them. I don't them. want them. Yeah. yeah. I'm just moving them away. So you got a, a your relationship with Mark is how we, what were you going to say? It just it's it's uh, it goes back further, and we just have a different relationship. And and Jason, I know uh, uh, who I love, uh, but you know I know him in a different way. So we have a different relationship. You ever hear people say, uh, "I know the person," and then like they try to find the words, and then they go in the biblical sense. You hear uh, people say that instead of saying I've. Them? Yeah, I don't think anybody has said that to me without a sense of irony. But you've heard it. I've heard the phrase. Yes. All right. Good. For well, fucking. Good. Yeah. Because there's a question. lot of fucking in the Bible. I don't. Un- I never understood what that meant. There's more fucking in the Bible than in other stories. Because I think of yes. Bible- okay. <laughs> it starts. I mean, read Genesis. The f- uh, How do you think we oh, had the Old go- Testament? Yeah. You're an Old Testament guy. You grew up um, Jewish, different soaps. Yeah. You're, are you, you're Jewish, aren't you? I mean, I was brought up Jewish. Yeah, that. same. I mean, my grandmother had a, um, you know, the separate sinks, and, and she wasn't kosher, but she had all the separate soaps for, you know, no, mi- not mixing dairy and meat, you know. Oh, I didn't even know those separate soaps for that. Yeah, I mean, if you're like... I know the separate plates. I didn't realize the separate soaps. Yeah, separate soap, when you're doing the dishes, it's all, you know, silly. But I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I also know, you know, a, a chunk of the New Testament. Well, the New as well. Testament almost starts off with 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 conception conception being non sexual. Mm-hmm. So, who do you know in the biblical sense in this business? Oh gosh, uh, I'm not gonna spill the beans. Okay. Um, I right. mean, uh, I'll give you a couple. Okay. Uh, Ewan McGregor. Um, from a uh, uh, guy Trey- who played uh, in 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 um, Star Wars. Yeah, the actor. Yeah. Um, uh, and he was also in The Island. Okay. Um, who else do I know in the biblical sense? Um, Helen Mirren. I just saw her in National Treasure too. Uh, okay, uh, and not really celebrity, but Karen Bass, new mayor. Uh, not not a Hollywood person, uh, but who else? Uh, mayor of um, Los Angeles, California. Karen Bass. Yeah, she's the mayor. I know. Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Right. My so, mayor. Yeah. If you lived in L.A., you might. You know. I live in L.A., so I oh, know. Okay. Yeah, Karen Bass. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, Paul Abdul, um, uh, with the with the, the girl with the cat, um, Beverly Johnson, uh, from Entourage. I don't know. Is that Beverly Johnson? I don't know. Is Beverly Johnson an Entourage? 
I've been getting a lot of messages from people who want to see me do live stand up, but I don't know. I don't really like leaving. I don't think I should go anywhere. Ah, uh, you got to go somewhere. I don't know where. San Francisco. When? April seventh. <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> you should go to San Francisco. Cobb's Comedy Club, April seventh. I'll do it. But what time should I have the show at? Probably at eight. That's a little late. Maybe seven. Perfect. I don't know. How can I tell people where to get tickets? I'm sure they could go to rickglassman.com. I don't put them there yet. Well, where are they? In the description. Well, they should go to the description and get those tickets for April 7th at 7 p.m. <laughs> okay. In San Francisco. That's not a bad idea. I'll see if I can figure it out. And if you could figure it out, link into the description. Hey, you know, you have to stay in fitness. You have to make your meals. Every time you eat, you want to know what's in it. You don't want to go to the, the thing. You know where you want to go? You want to head to factormeals.com yeah, 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 yeah. slash Tyso50. Says Tyso50. And use code Tyso50 to yeah. save 50% off. That's factormeals.com slash Tyso50 and use code Tyso50 for 50% off. Can I shout out what? Um, what? A thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace, and that you could get a free trial at squarespace.com. It's where dreams become websites. I got on there and I'm able to... Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. That's right, Marco. I was like, this is really good. Yup. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Tyso to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. It doesn't say. Mm. Um, oh, Cat Williams. Um, who else? Uh, did you hear what he said about you on Shannon Sharp's pod? Did you watch that? Uh, I did not. I didn't. Oh, he said he he brought you up. Oh, did he? Yeah. What did he say? He said, uh, uh, well, let's cut to a clip. Don't, don't try to disfellowship me for sexual acts and I'm a virgin. Sorry, God, don't make mistakes. You don't get two times to fuck me over. What do you mean you went to God and he told you I was guilty? <laughs> you just lied on God. So long. That's it. There's no conversation. We're back. So, wow. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, How did you meet Cat Williams? Um, I threw uh, Marilyn Manson. You threw Marilyn Manson? No, through. I met him oh. through Marilyn Manson, uh, who I met uh, because I was doing a Mar Marilyn Manson toss. I was pr participating in a Marilyn, Marilyn Manson. Manson toss, so I threw him, uh, you know, like a good... He's a big guy and uh, um, tall. He's lanky, but, you know, and I got about, I don't know, about two yards there's um you and i are a different um generation i'm 26 and when i was in high school there was this rumor and i've met, brought this up in my podcast before and sure enough hundreds of thousands of comments of people saying where they are in the world which is different than me same thing that there was this rumor maybe the biggest rumor in the world that has not been proven that marilyn manson removed some of his ribs so he could blow himself you know this rumor i do yeah um, Could you get him on the phone to confirm or deny? Yeah, hang on. You're plugged this in? Or are you going to text? Uh, I can. Oh, it's a, it's a Android. He, he, uh, um, you know, he okay. says hi to me, not to you. I don't think he knows you, but he said. Yeah, uh, we he just called. We edited it out because we didn't ask him, but. Yeah, but he. That was cool. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's uh, was nice enough to answer the phone at least, and, and it was very brief, but uh, he was giving his uh, his snake a bath, or, or, you know, cleaning his snake, whatever. You, bath? However that word, a bath, I guess. Yeah, snake um, bath. Snake bath. And, uh, and uh, he said, of course, that's, you know, ridiculous. Um, it's it, not true. It's not true. And he, and he was a little, I got to say, a little... Uh, irritated that that's why i called him because i haven't talked to him in a while i you called him so willingly i didn't re, i mean i don't know if it's my responsibility to set a boundary on that but I'm well sorry i mean if no I it's not position. your it's i either do it or don't yeah i'm I'd sorry say, i'd say yes or no and i'd say you can include it or you can't include it obviously this time we can't include yeah it, but. Uh, do you want me to edit out the call yeah oh for sure okay yeah i mean that's on that's what he said he he didn't uh he just assumed i was doing a what? You said that's what he said. That's a little button that says that's what she said. Let me see. And it says it in different ways. 
Oh, that's very, 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 very funny. I knew it was gonna it was gonna be an extreme of either good or bad, and I'm glad you like it. Oh, I don't. Oh. So Marilyn is able to blow himself then without removing his ribs, is what he said. I don't know. No, I uh, I think you're making a leap there, but uh, I don't know. I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him about the can he blow himself. I just asked, did he have the ribs removed? Which right. I'm pretty. I mean, I, I I now I'm questioning why I even had to bother calling him because I pretty much know, not a hundred percent, but that that's not the case. Yeah, I, I always assumed he could blow himself. I just didn't know if it was because of the ribs. I don't know. Anyway, so you tossed Marilyn Manson, and then what happened with Cat Williams? How does that have to do with Cat? He was a celebrity judge. Are you going to get him on your pod? I'd like to. I'm a fan of his. I think he's great. Do you want me to call him? Do you have his number? I do know. I do know Cat. Absolutely. Yeah, I did um, uh, background work on uh, the movie where he played a pimp or something. A, a pimp or something? Yeah, like... He played a pimp, but like that, it wasn't like Indiana Jones isn't the story of of uh, uh, I was thinking of Indiana Jones, I think, as a snake baths, but it's not the story of a, of a, of a archaeologist. It's the story of a father and son. At least the third one. <laughs> well, OK, sure. I have talked to him somewhat recently, but I feel like he did. You do the answer. podcast. Uh, I asked him, he, he, he responds to me usually. And I asked him twice and he didn't get back to me. And I take that as a hint of. Keep yeah. asking, but later. <laughs> um. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Cat, what's up, man? It's Glassman. What? It's Rick Glassman. Oh, uh, what's up, Rick? Uh, I'm with David Cross. You remember, you met David, uh, oh, how long? What, a while oh, ago. This is a while ago. This is like uh, eight, nine years yes, ago. Yes, I, I recall. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so we were calling uh, for a, a couple of reasons, but David would love to have you on his on his podcast. Uh-huh. Uh, and a lot has been going on since you were on Shannon Sharp's thing. Um, and I'll do it, uh, uh, Kat, I'll do it either in New York or L.A., whatever's more convenient for you and me. Uh, more uh, convenient for me. So it'll be one of the two, but so most likely New York. So take L.A. out of the equation. Well, I, I'd rather it be more convenient for me if that. Uh, if can you get yourself okay. to New York? There's a lot to do there. Good pizza. That, that is true. They they have a lot, uh, they have a, they have good pizza. They have uh, the towers that used to be there. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. The t- they they have the towers that used to be there. They're on display. Yeah. That. Little little smaller, but yeah. <laughs> Basically. That's that's always nice. Um, you know, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, well, that'd be great. That's, Kat, what's yeah. the what's the drama that's going on with Monique and Kevin Hart right now? Oh, I can't. I could not tell you. Um, uh, Monique is a, a very powerful woman, and I think that she should be respected as such. Uh, Kevin's a plant. We <laughs> we, uh, we all know that. We is there anything that seen- you want to plug, Cat? Do you have any shows? Any theater shows coming up, or any uh, stand up specials where the first five minutes you come out and you do some dancing in a fur coat or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a. Um, I, I don't know if you've seen my my most recent special, the uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, where I just come out and I talk about Jacksonville for the first half hour of my. It's, it's I I saw uh, that oh, it's yeah. uh it's really oh, an it. interesting yeah. choice to make and uh, yeah it's very relatable. Everyone knows <laughs> how that. <is. laughs> um. All right, Kat. And my I guess my last question for you is, um, Marilyn uh, Manson. Could blow himself. Do you believe that he took his ribs out? Oh, absolutely. All I right. think every. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's the case. Yeah, we yeah. just we just called him, and it turns out he did not remove his ribs. So. Oh. Oh, he's just flexible like that. All right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank Kat. you, Cat. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Bye. Bye now. Oh, Cat. Fuck. Fuck. I was going to ask him if he would do mine. <laughs> That's crazy that you wouldn't, while you're out here, just do it here with him. Well, I don't know. I mean, I would do it if 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 I could. I'm leave tomorrow. I go home tomorrow. But I but I will. I'd rather have him in New York. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Uh, I just I feel more comfortable there. So you're flying from LA to New York tomorrow. Yes. Are you worried that your arms are going to be tired? Um. 
Well, I did just get surgery on my elbow. I had golfer's elbow, um, and I don't golf. Um, uh, and flying here was tough because I, you know, I had those wing things, you mm-hmm. know, the, 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 the attachable Wings. thing. Yeah. W- I mean, yes, but I don't mean to say that they were mine. They were attachable. Kind of like the story snakes on a plane. Isn't really about a plane, but a father and son. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. I, I never saw it that way, but now I have tennis elbow. and I don't play tennis. Do you have to get surgery? I had surgery 10 years ago, almost to the day Yeah, right here. And now it's coming back a little. That's a bummer. Did you tear your, uh, whatever it is, the tendon or the ligament? It was a debridement for my arthritis. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I I did. I had a debridement. I had had a torn, uh, had a tear in my whatever the thing is. Right. But yeah, it was a bummer. I'm sorry. What's all right. It's getting better. Here, look. Oh. Yeah, that's about a month ago. Oh. (laughs) Stitches on the inside, stitches on the outside. You just had surgery a month ago, huh? Yeah. Maybe a little less. Maybe three and a half weeks ago. Is that your first surgery? No. Okay. I'm an old man. How many surgeries have you had? In the Uh, biblical sense. I had rotator cuff surgery. All those tendons were torn. I had a shoulder surgery as well. Really? Yeah. Tommy John? Uh, The doctor? Yeah. Dr. Tommy John. No. Okay. No. Um, uh, Bleep this. It was over a... A what? It was a doctor's office. Oh, um, oh. I actually, when I was in that doctor's office, uh, I share a doctor with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Heard of him? <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, I had him on the pod. He, it actually comes out next week, but it's out now. I'll cut to a clip. In Pumping Iron, you say that having sex is the same feeling. Yeah. The pump is equal to coming with a girl. Yeah. Could you explain what you mean? And well, is that a metaphor, or do you sometimes actually have an orgasm in a weight room from lifting? No, it's not like an orgasm. It's like the pump, you know, because to me, I feel like this is like the coming, you know. I feel so good. The, the, the pain gives way. You know, it's like a sneeze. If you feel it, then you're right above your, you know, right above your penis. A sneeze? Yeah. You know, if you go, oh, maybe that, that I have a gallstone. I can't pass it. Ow, ow, ow. And that's, you like that? Yeah, just a little bit. And, and in sex, when do you feel that? Don't do this. Put a rope diaper or something. Or cock ring. To, cock rings. You, you might, you know, mess up and make it all purple. The veins will be uneven. You don't want this. But in the gym, when you feel you, the You pump, do want the veins there. You do want the vascularity, yeah. When you saw uh, Linda Hamilton on Terminator 2 and she came back, just jacked and yeah, you saw yeah, these yeah. veins what was the feeling of that i i kept saying come on let's arm wrestle you know what i mean and she said no please don't i want to do this and then finally we did it would you say that you arm twisted wrestle. her arm to arm I wrestle hurt, yeah i hurt <laughs> yeah 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 but she did you know and i heard you did you hurt her yeah i hurt her bad we had to take three days off this, now i have a question you know. And uh, I met him getting an MRI on my shoulder. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And um, still not great. That's what that's for. What does that do? I, I do my rehab exercises on it all the time. When did you have the surgery? I had the surgery in 2018. but And it's still not... Oh, boy. It comes that's and goes. That's not right. It comes and goes with different... I, I mean, I'm totally pain-free and can use this completely. I'm uh, pain-free and could use it completely if I'm not exercising. Really? Yeah, I have okay. full range of motion, but when I work out, it just starts to hurt me again. So I'm I'm going huh. through a new. Did, did you have? Uh, did your tendons have to be sewn back in, or uh, like they put polymer um, uh, resin uh, screws? So what was the problem, Tommy John's? Uh, I had three of the four uh, tendons that hold it together were torn off. It kind of sounds like you're bragging. <laughs> I'm not. There's not. That's not. That just shows how, uh, and much like this too, how irresponsible I am because I didn't get it looked at sooner. Gotcha. And I, I had a lot of, I, but I did all this stupid shit. Um, what happened? Okay. I did all this stupid, uh, okay. It's the OCD. All right. No, no, it's and, a, it's a. I have a uh, uh, sound panels I'm putting up on the wall soon. There's some um, there's some 
Oh, white noise or uh, just noise <laughs> radio um, frequencies. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some bouncing that happens and affects the mix. I see. And, okay. Um, um, well, okay. Jewish joints, I call it. Uh, the body, the the aches, the. I think it affects people who who don't believe in Judaism as well. The majority of my friends that have aches, yeah, uh, are Jewish. Are the majority of your friends Jewish? It's not your fucking business. I no, think, I bet you they're not. Okay, how much do you want to bet? I'll bet. I'll, I'll hold for sound. Okay. Uh, 200 bucks? Okay. Have you ever made a bet with somebody where you thought or the other person thought it was a joking bet and then they it turned out that they or you believed it was not a joking bet and that you actually somebody paid up or didn't pay up? Uh sort of. I've had bets where yeah, I guess that's that applies. I wouldn't say it was a joke. I just didn't think that they would pay me, pay me, and they did. Good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, yeah. It's all for charity. What charity? What's your charity? Um, I mean, I vacillate ping pong between a bunch of different ones. You vacillate ping pong. Um, I will vacillate ping pong if if it comes down to it, if it's necessary. So your special uh, eight hundred pound gorilla is that what it's called? What's this? No, what's uh, the studio. I mean, the, the where are people getting it. Yes, right now it's on the 800 pound gorilla site, you know, their comedy thing. So it's on their channel, their site, their channel, whatever. And then it'll revert back to me at some point. But it was on Veeps, and now it's going to go to 800 pound gorilla. I don't know Veeps. The Julie Louise Dreyfus thing is the only one I know. Uh, no, this is a, uh, it's, I think, I, I assume it's Veeps like V I P S, but they spell it V E P S. Uh, it's a, it's a, thing that they that is a offshoot of like live nation or something like that and then they are getting into comedy so i was one of the first comedians to put their special on their site getting into comedy what were they doing before drama stuff no it's all music it's all music yeah yeah so your special's coming out watch your uh your other worst, worst daddy in the world um your daughter is uh seven now right just turned seven yep that's right. Yep. I know all about it. I guess. I don't just have people come on and I don't look up how old their daughter and sons are. No, you. I do that whether people are on the show or not. I mean, I'll spend a good hour a day doing that. You know, I, I, I carve out the time to do that. Was that to research other people who might not be good parents so you could put it into your act? It, it's, it's just to have the info. I want as much info as possible. Yeah, as an improviser. Um, uh, which I was, you know, I, what, what is that? An improv? -y? Oh no. Um, what is it? Or yes. And it's a uh, dramatic <laughs> award Very I good. won for uh, a show about autistic people. And that's not a blanket statement, but it is an award for drama, but I've learned to play at the top of my intelligence. And in order to do that, you must have a lot of information. Mm, it helps. It does. Yeah. What What's the uh, name of the uh, show or special? Or the show is. Uh, it, it was uh, on last year. It came out last year. We only did one season. It's called As We See It. Okay. On Amazon Prime. Sweet. Um. But what kind of award is that? I don't. It's is called that... the HCA Awards. Rick Glassman. <laughs> What is this? What, what are we celebrating, Bob Barker? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's uh, it's uh, kind of how Veeps is 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 uh, getting into comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, the the uh, HCA, the uh, it was the Hollywood Critics Association. Now it's the Hollywood Creative Alliance or something. Uh, they're getting into awards. 
Oh, so it it it's meaningless. No, nope. real people win them. Big big people. Paul Giamatti won. Swipe. And the Astra goes to Paul Giamatti. For her <laughs> Stop the music! Stop the music! Stop the music! Thank you. We're gonna cut up real quick. I, I'll accept it. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you both. Congratulations. You both look beautiful. I first uh, saw Paul Giamatti in Win Win, and I thought he was fantastic in it. And I just wanted to say, if Paul Gio Giamatti is watching. I'm a huge fan, and I would love for you to do my podcast. For real, <laughs> Greta would, would love it. As well, Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Just the women. Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Okay, Paul. Yo, 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 yo. Paul Giamatti is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I, you know. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, fuck artificial intelligence. And now, please give it up for the vice chair of the Hollywood Creative Alliance. Yeah, but it doesn't have any weight to it. It doesn't have any status or. You tell me. Okay. It, meaning it's like. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little heft. There's a, yeah, I mean, it would, it's almost like that, the bird that drinks the water. Is that um, like an ancient Chinese proverb? Yeah. The Hollywood bird that breaks Critics the water? Association. Huh. Careful making fun of that because it was a show about autism. So. I am not making fun of it. I'm just, I'm uh, deriding it. I'm denigrating it. I'm not making fun. I'm saying, it's not as special as one might think. It's exactly as special as I think it is. Uh, for, oh, for you, sure. I mean, other people who would come in here and go, oh, what's that? And then they'd learn what it is and they'd go, oh, that's nice for you. Yes. And at the top of my intelligence, I know that um, the, the heavier awards would be the Emmys and the SAG awards. But that's the third most important one. Uh, let me throw uh, Pulitzer, Nobel, um, uh, Peabody, um, SAG. Uh, I said SAG. Did you say SAG? Yeah. Uh, uh, Tony, Cleo. Yeah, but you can't win a Tony Obi. for a TV show. You cannot. That's true. And you can't win a Peabody. Um, you can win a Peabody uh, for in, a TV unless show. You're, uh, uh, unless you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you have to go pee, buddy? Yeah, you'd be somebody's pee buddy. And yeah, take them like oh, swords. Oh, but also you would have a like a, you know, a buddy on a trip for kids when they, you know, like so you don't get lost. Yeah, a pee buddy. Yeah, like uh, everyone partner up. Oh, because they're autistic. Got it. Got it. Bleep that. Sometimes I'll bleep things my guest says, mm -hmm. and I'll like go like this, and then it'll look like they said the n word a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, great. You've said it once. I'm sure you're not going to keep saying it. Uh, well, I said it three times if you want to, because... We'll cut to a montage. Yeah. So back. Could you just say it three times and we'll pretend you said it earlier? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Okay. No. 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 Swipe back. We have a good time When you here. say swipe back, what is that? So, um... And when we come back from stuff, so like we'll cut back to things that you had said earlier, uh, swipe to a commercial, swipe to a clip of got, Paul Giamatti right. winning the award. I understand. Stuff like that. Yeah. How did you get started on this podcast? What was the inspiration? It's a good question. Now I feel like I'm on your podcast. <laughs> right, calm down. Calm down, everybody. All right. Um, so. Um, what, what is my podcast, by the way? Uh. Oh, what's it called? I don't remember. What is the name of your podcast? Sense is Working Overtime. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, that doesn't sound familiar. I know it's a picture of your head. Whoa! Oh, Jesus, so disrespectful. 
the black family. Uh, it's a picture of your head. You have to cut to that falling when you do the N-word sequence. <laughs> Bleep him saying that again. Just say N-word. You don't have to actually say it. Jesus, dude. My favorite color is great. That's also my favorite flavor. When I come through like a lightsaber. Perhaps if all food had a hole in the middle, we wouldn't be so broken with all the yearly deaths from choking. Ty -ty Tiger Woods is real careful when he put. He never chokes, not even on a donut. Got a hole in the middle, but it's big. I ain't gonna say the N word. No, 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 no. Oh, I meant no. Oh, sorry. The real N word is no, right? <laughs> Never say <laughs> no. Always say nigga. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Always say yes. Okay. No, I'm saying like the yes oh, and. Oh, say yes. Oh, sorry about yes. that. Oh, improv. <laughs> Rules of improv. Uh, is that really a name? Because we obviously yeah, we, we got to plug plug your podcast. Yeah, better. Sense is working overtime with David Cross. Um, that is that is truly the name. I believe you. Yeah. That just doesn't sound familiar. And I I, I uh, watched two episodes. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. It's it's on in the it's like a little frame in the background of the screen that it's but okay okay maybe we'll change the font and coloring of it make it maybe normal. my senses were working over time and I couldn't really focus on it very very clever um so how did I get into it uh, I have some funny friends you know we're in the funny La friends business yeah the laugh business we're in the laugh business. And, uh, do you do stand up? I do. Okay. Yeah. And you said you're from Ohio, yeah? What what part of Ohio? Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. No kids. Mm -hmm. I that's kind of clear. <laughs> no offense. Uh, I don't. I certainly don't mean to be because of autism. No. Do you think autistic people can't have kids? Mm, wait, can they? I'm learning new things every day. This podcast is sponsored by Squarespace. I got on there. Eh? Let me guess. You were easily able to create custom merch and a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand? More or less. Cool. What else were you able to do? I'm able to... I know what you're going to say. That you could sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. After you found that out, what else were you like, Marco? I was like, this is really good. Yeah. Get started with one of their professional website templates with designs for every category. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. Shout out to Squarespace. You know, if you go to rickglassman.com, my personal website, it's hosted and built by Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace before they were even a sponsor. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Tyso. That's T-Y-S-O to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi, Harry. Mom, I have somebody on the podcast that I told you might happen, and I'm just calling yeah. you now, and he's doing an ad with me. And uh, who was my favorite person in the world as a kid? Superman. Uh, that's a, that's a, a, another version of Superman, but Superman in real life. Oh, I got Schwarzenegger. Mom, check this out. Yeah. Hi. How are you, Mrs. Glassman? <laughs> Yeah, so good to talk to you. I'm here with your son. Tell me the truth. How much do you like Factor Meals, and are you going to keep using it after I got you that um, that fifty percent off discount? I am being discount? honest with you. I adore I it. The else. food is. I haven't had one meal that I didn't love. It's more than enough of a, a helping. I love that it's just all you got to do is punch holes in the top and microwave it for two minutes. It's so delicious. Every vegetable is delicious. Every meal I've had. Now, mom, if people want to get to this, do you know where they go? You got to factormeals.com. You probably slash Tyso50 and use code Tyso50 to save 5% off. A psych to save 50% wow. off. Head to factormeals.com slash factor50 and use code Tyso50. But hey, mom, I have a question. To save 50% off. Yeah, ahead. yeah, yeah. To save 50% off, you go to Tyso50. Mom, when you go yeah, to man. the restaurant and then you realize, I don't want to eat this stuff, you know what you would say? You say, well, I'll be back to eating factor <laughs> <laughs> hey it's moshe kasher i'll be on an upcoming episode of this very podcast but you can get my book right now it's called subculture vulture a memoir in six scenes i'm super proud yeah, of great. it but what i really want to let you guys know is you could be many things make sure you're at least useful well listen so tell me that book would you rather have let me ask you one question would you rather have throw it 
Oh, because it's Arnold. It deserves more respect. Would you rather have seven tools for life? Oh, other one. Calm down. He hasn't even given the other option yet. Or six scenes. What a memoir. George Bush? A memoir in six scenes or seven tools for life? Buddy, you're upside down. <laughs> this is a good commercial. I would say this is the best commercial. I'll be back. We'll be back. Subculture Vulture. Uh, oh, no. There's Love on the Spectrum. So, yes, of course. They have you watched? Kids. I haven't. It seems like it'd be a little exploitive. It's not. Really? You're looking. Uh, uh, it's not. I'll tell you. Okay. Why. It. It's. A, I'm sorry. It's Australian. Yeah. The first two seasons were made in Australia. The creator uh, is Australian, mm -hmm. and then they brought it over to. What are you saying? The states. The, you say the states. states. Yeah. If you're in England, say the states. Brought it over to the states. Yeah. And uh, they. Uh, they know what they're getting into. And as far as uh, uh, reality, they want to find a partner. Okay. Right? That's right. what I mean by getting into. And they know it's televised. Yeah, but I mean, it's you know. It's not as produced as a lot of reality shows. Listen, I can't tell you it's not exploitative. Um, but they are aware of it. Their family is aware of it. They are choosing to do it. They are coming back for another season after the response right. that they got from the first one. They obviously feel positive about it. Okay. Some of these people are now in a relationship because of it. Okay. Um, it just it, okay. I, I I'll take your word on. Uh, I'll check it out. Just when I just read the description, I was like, oh, this is shitty. Yeah, you know, I I, I it it makes sense that you say that. I also and just knowing how reality TV is cut Correct. presented okay and this is a reality show but it is not at least uh, and i'm i'm sensitive to this in all reality things and looking for it doesn't feel um recontextualized for exploitative okay. reasons okay cool and i also think it brings really good awareness to the some of the different types of people on the spectrum mm -hmm. of like or if you were to see somebody and not think anything of it with this type of behavior it would be like what some people might either be uncomfortable or uh, uh, think what's happening is funny or the unusual right. they would they would judge. But when it's framed as like, oh, this isn't just behavior. This is based on this type of thought process. It is so sweet. Right. Like, oh, my God, that's so cute. Or that's some of it is a little sad. Some of it is so beautiful. Um, but it really is a, is a great show. All right. I'll check it out. So you should have them on your pod. You should have those guys on your pod. Okay, how many of them are there? I don't know. All right, I'll find out. Yeah, it's like 10. Okay, uh, you're asking it as a question. I don't know. I, I don't know the answer. But. Oh, I thought that's why you brought it up. A lot of times people... No, no will, I was looking for the answer. Sometimes people will ask a question because they want to talk about it themselves. Like if I were to walk into your home and you had a piano, I'd be like, oh, do you play the piano? But really what I'm saying is like, do you want to see what I could do? Yeah, I wouldn't take. I would answer that, and then, uh, and that would be that because I wouldn't. I wouldn't make any kind of leap in that right. question. But then I would go over to it and I would like touch some of the keys and be like, "Oh, cool, 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 cool." And then okay. you'd be like, "Oh, what do you play?" Right. Do you play piano? I do. Okay. Yeah. I have one over there. Yeah. A mechanical one. A fancy mechanical mm -hmm. one. So uh, I have funny friends and I thought maybe you get some cameras and record us hanging out for a little bit and then just mm -hmm. like kind of cut down to some funny stuff. Go, go, I don't know because I would always make go, sketches go, and go, go, go. edit stuff and just have like, I don't know, just like find something. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was even thinking of doing something and call it finding it. Um, and then I had some friends over and, and my uh, uh, a guy who lived in my building at the time, shout out to George Krikas, who helped me produce this at the beginning. Uh, he's like, this, just hold, keep the whole thing. That's what podcasting is. Mm -hmm. I started podcasting a while ago before this even came out. I would record them all and I never put them out. Like, really? Yeah, maybe nine years ago. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'm like, I, we talked about stuff that was hurting. Yeah. Do you want some ice? No, no, it's it's okay. I, I've got some uh, ibuprofen in the car. I'll just take it. I got some here. I also got some CBD. I got some good CBD. Um, I'll take the ibuprofen if you got it. That would help. Thank you. I just have, you know, you have to keep it above your heart. The Bam. Bam. Yeah. What? Bam. <laughs> okay. Um, so while Rick's gone, Rick's going to get me some uh, ibu, ibu, ibuprofen? Ibuprofen? Ibu, 
ibuprofen. Ibu, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. I brew. Rick. Rick. Is it I brew? Is it I brew profen or I brew profen? Profen. I be profen. I be profen. Anyway. It's kind of like how when black people proofread a script. I say I be profen. Oh God. I don't know. Maybe people. That is a bad. That is a bad joke. That is a stretch. Thank you very much. Uh, This is good. This is great. I guess uh, I'll leave this somewhere else then. Oh my Lord! It's full of them. You should be a dad. That's what I'm saying. All right. Thank you. How do you feel, like pacing wise, if I go pee real quick? David, when you be in somebody's home, do you aim for the porcelain so it's not as loud, or do you go in the water? I go in the water. Oh, uh, that's a little bit loud. What's that? That's a little bit loud. On uh, the porcelain, then. I think this is going really well so far. Not me. <laughs> okay. I do. Yeah, I'm having a really good time. Okay. Before you got here, uh, I've been in a little bit of an of an energy the past like month. You've been in a little bit, a bit of, of a lower energy, lower energy, low yeah. energy, and uh, we don't know each other, so it's like if I were going on your show or we were going on somebody else's, it's just like I'll show up as I am, and it is what it is. But there's a I'm literally hosting you, mm-hmm. so there needs to be some type of professionalism in a way, and. Um, uh, it, it just that could feel like an obligation sometimes. Sure. Um, uh, I'm hearing a little bit of a buzzing. Uh, but uh, what? Oh, have you been? It's you. Yeah, I've been doing that the whole time. Oh, sorry. Oh, you don't have your headphones on. That can't be all you. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I, I hear it. I hear it. It's okay now. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. And now... Check. Mike, check. 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 Mike, check. Do you want me to put on some freestyle beats? <laughs> no. Do you that like was rap? A, no. That's, that's, I was just doing that for your levels. Yeah. I love to rap. Okay. Um, yeah. And now I have a podcast. So Crazy world. <laughs> right? Capitalism. So you thought you didn't want to do a podcast. I read the thing in, in, the, uh, in the Guardian where you're like, a little bit before the pandemic... Is when you decided, like, you know, oh, you know, and then you're like, I'll do this, and then you start. Then it took you a little bit, and now you know you have one, and you've done. By the time this comes out, probably like twenty five episodes. Your daughter's probably seven and four months at that point. And uh, what's that like? When's this coming out? Um, end of March is when I think. Oh shit, that is a ways away. Yeah, I uh, I, I I heard that you were only here for a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm feel- yeah, all good. Uh, I'm working on something now where I have a a back catalog. Okay, uh, how many of these have you done of this podcast? Yeah, uh, my guess is this will be episode two five two. Wow, started in April. Wow, this one in April 2019. Holy shit! And through COVID, you were able to do it. Yeah, so my OCD got bad. Yeah, when bad. I was a kid, it was bad. And then I grew up and I found some tools. And then it turns out that everything was right and I have to wash my oranges. And I knew it. <laughs> and uh, I don't like doing Zoom because it's hard enough to connect in person, let alone yeah. Zoom. Yeah. So I would do, um, I was in a different place and here, but I have a balcony. So I would have my guests come over. They wouldn't even come in the house. They would climb oh, up wow. the balcony. So I booked people that would climb a balcony. Oh, wow, that's cool. And the windows were closed. And they had their headphones. Obviously, we would have not. Needed. But you can see them, but through the just glass. through the glass, yeah. right here. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's and smart. did it for like two years. Wow. And with that, I also wasn't doing stand up, obviously, because I wasn't leaving. Yeah. Um, and like really leaned into the editing and the bits, and and it was very creatively fulfilling. Cool. Um, that's great. And uh, that's where I kind of like found the voice of this podcast. And now I have David fucking Cross on here with. What? I get to show my awards. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. How'd yeah. you get him? Uh, I think through all things comedy, 
All things comedy. What is that? That they uh, get my advertisements and. Uh, oh, they're a podcast. Uh, they all also, things comedy do podcasts. Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, I think they just did the the old dad's Bill Bill Burr's movie. Yes, they produce. Yeah. So I think they do movies now and comedy specials and. And so they were able to get you. That was David my kind Cross? of. Yeah, they said, oh. uh, "Hey, uh, David Cross is in town. He's he just okay. flew in. And his elbows." Blah, 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 blah. Did they put this out? Mm, no, no, no. They just get my my ads. How does I don't understand. I I really don't know the business. Do you very well? Do you do you have commercials? So yes, I do. They'll, somebody gets they'll, your ads. They'll you know I have to approve the brand or disprove, and then if I approve it, could you give me an example of a time you disproved an ad? Yeah, uh, other than the Marilyn a, Manson a, thing, there were a bunch. Um, I just either I don't believe in the product or the service, or I just don't have oh, any disapprove. Disapprove. Yeah, disprove. I was thinking you meant like. Oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Disapprove, meaning uh, I don't, and also I don't have a personal, you know, I'm not going to go on and say this thing is great and I used it. And Would you do an ad for ibuprofen? Yeah, sure. I use it; it works. Do you me. want to? Because I they follow me. I don't know if they're watching this episode, but do you want to like do a sample of one for them so they can be like, that's actually, I mean, maybe maybe they'd be like, that's actually good. Hey folks, uh, David Cross here of the good people at I, Ibuprofen. Uh, at, well, and Ibuprofen is the is the drug. Yeah. You want to pick a brand? It, you're, you're no, I'm not. I, I'm not interested in the brand. I'm interested in the drug. Oh, interesting. Kind of yeah. like how the milk corporate, like big, big milk, yeah, advertises milk, not like a certain type of milk. Okay. What the fuck is that? Earthquake. Big one. Whoa. Wow, it's still going. It's still going. This stuff works. Wow, that was big. That was something. Wait, that, that's what, what was that noise? Uh, that was a car. That was a coincidence that you said that. Really? You're just yeah, you're looking out to a house, oh. to another place. Wow, but did, there's the, the were you were you uh, in the Northridge earthquake by any chance? No, you wouldn't have been here yet, right? You mean the seventies? No, dude, the fucking nineties. The oh, Northridge no. earthquake. No. Um, because I was in the Whittier earthquake, which was kind of fun. And I, and I was so cavalier about earthquakes are cool. And then Northridge was terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely right. terrifying. And the sim, a similar thing where you're like, okay, it's fine for now, but this could get really bad, but it could get, uh, it doesn't seem to be that bad, okay. Yeah, there was one uh, a few years ago that was maybe like 25 seconds. Because mm -hmm. like that That's was- That's long. That was like three, if that. Three seconds? Just now? No, dude. You, you'll see it on the tape. It's, go it's a good- Swipe back to it. It's him saying the N-word again, but, but have the cameras be shaking. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh no, I'd say that one was a good. We were sitting here looking at each other. I feel like it was. I feel like I'm gonna say twelve. Ooh, I would have said three to five. Well, you did say three. Yeah, three. Three it was is way conservative. More, it was more than three. Um, the actual like of the feeling of like how long is this gonna go? You think it was over ten seconds? Yeah, yeah. Because we were we. I mean, you'll see. We stopped, and then there was still shaking, and then there was definitely a sense of like, okay, that's it. Um, okay, actually, cut to it. Milk. Yeah. Advertises milk, not like a certain type of milk. Okay. What the fuck is that? Earthquake. Big one. Whoa. Wow. It's still going. It's still going. This stuff works. It was pretty much at the tail end of the car the and then then the because yeah, i thought they were loud. connected um yeah but boy since uh northridge it, it's it's not it's not fun or funny anymore i've never found them fun i was um, even thinking while it's happening like i feel like i pardon me i'm projecting this onto you but i feel like you and i are on our best behavior right now <laughs> so we could prove during an earthquake we kept her cool no i mean if it got if it got worse, and I mean just even a little bit worse, if something started to drop, we both would be bolting down. You, you, I'm sure, you know, uh, that wasn't that bad. No, but uh, and but I've been in how a, long it lasts or how big it will get. Right, exactly. And uh, but 25 seconds is long. That's a long. Oh yeah, you know, that's long. Yeah. Um, 
because uh, uh, there was a little one and then it happened again, which it very well obviously might again during this. But it was to the point where like when it happens, you're sitting here and you're like, okay. And then to me, once it would have hit eight, 10 seconds in my mind or however long I feel like eight, 10 seconds, mm-hmm. are, then it would have been like, okay, let's maybe go someplace. I don't yeah, jump right I think, away. I think if it had gotten, because it, it definitely kind of, uh, and then it slowly uh, yeah. got a little less uh, shaky, violent. But um, if it had gone up, I think the two of us instinctively would have been like, let's get out of here. But where? Uh, you, you know, there's so many. Yeah, I don't know your. Yeah, they say they say the. Um, supposed to be under an archway. Uh, you, uh, you're supposed to doorway. be away from windows mm-hmm. and where if something were to fall. Like under the table that would. Yes. Yeah. Or at the end of it. For example, if there's something here, it would have fallen on this. So it's like yeah, the, yeah. the V or something. You would want to be like uh, yeah. lying there. Whew. Wow. That was a good one. Anyway, uh, you were going to do your ibuprofen commercial? Uh, yes. So introduce yourself, say hi, uh, you know, and and when you complain about what you're going to, compl- like mention, I had to complain about it to where it's, we're not scared for you, but we recognize it's something that you have overcome because of the product. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, I had surgery and I'm it's actually feeling, you know, like you could even have the discovery. You know, I took this, I don't know, five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. I'm actually, are, you know, it's, you get it. You get it. Uh, well, I think you just did it. Where's your camera? Is that your That's camera? yours. No, but this is going to be for you because I bet you we could get you an ad. Just uh, superimpose my uh, face over yours, please. Um, I don't ask for, I ask, actually, I ask for a lot all the time. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to headlock you into this if you don't want to do it. I just really think you can no, get it. No, I think so. you nailed it. Put my face over you saying it and then, and then swipe, <laughs> swipe left. Good, good. Mark, is can you hear me? John Michael. John Michael? Yeah. Jan Michael? John Michael. John? Michael? The two of them? I don't, I feel, I've been oh. doing so many of them, I feel like I can't ask now. Okay. I don't know. I always just thought it was John Michael. Like, no no space. I thought it was one guy, but I really, to be honest with you, I don't know. Oh. Well, you could clip the... I'll, I'll just for sake. John? Michael? Yeah, and you could jump... You could... John... Michael or John Michael, you could take out the... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it would be like, John, Michael, you know. Yeah. yeah. So 800-pound gorilla, sure. you're a bad dad. I don't think so. Uh, just, other people just think Just the so. people that name your special do. Uh, well, my daughter named, you know, uh, unwittingly named it uh, Worst Daddy in the World. I, she said that about me to me, and I said, okay, oh, I'm going to use that for the title of the special. Would you be down because uh, I don't know how much of, uh, do you have an itch? It's gone. I just scratched it. If, I don't know how much like we could show because it's, you know, Adrian Von Gorilla, they have their own and Veeps and everyone has, and the YouTube algorithm is going to be like, oh, we're going to flag this. Uh, would you do some of your stand up here? Uh, and on the porch? Oh, well, we'll, we'll put you like, uh, stand you in front of the curtain and uh, we'll put a spotlight on you. Um, we'll put a little reverb. We'll put in some audience laughter and stuff. Uh, would you be down to do some of your jokes? Yeah, absolutely. If I, I if I, res- I reserve the right to cut them if it doesn't work. Yeah, of course. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome David Cross. So your last special, I'm assuming it was your last special, um, From the Future, that was what it was called? Yeah. Uh, uh, I saw, the way I found that special was, I think a social, oh, I'm going to move this back. Out of respect for Arnie. I think it was a, uh, a social clip or something. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, you're in, you're opening, you're, yes. you're Auschwitz opening. Yeah. Uh, it's that was so, a good one. Yeah, really, really good. I showed it to some of my friends um, uh, because you're not deconstructing anything. And the whole time you're opening with that, with the confidence of what you're doing, it's like, oh, what's the turn going to be? Right. And it was just a commentary joke. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a really fun bit to do. And I enjoyed 
the idea that people, because I never broke and it was just very mm -hmm. presentational, and the idea that people are, uh, you know, sitting there going, what is he doing? Where's mm -hmm. this going? What the fuck is this about? And uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. I, I regret the unfortunate missed opportunity uh, because of COVID to not go all around the country and open with that joke and see how people reacted. You're you know? saying you, you didn't do that. I didn't know. I was going to go on tour and right. then, uh, and then it was uh, canceled because of COVID. And, uh, but I knew I wanted the special to exist. And so I just shot it pretty yeah. quickly, shot my set that I was about to go on tour with. And yeah. So um, obviously not personally, but I know of you and I know your brand enough to where watching that there was no, there wasn't any discomfort on my end of, is, first of all, it's not a live thing, so he chose to keep it in. Mm -hmm. But like, there's a point to this, obviously, and I didn't know what it would be until it happened. Um, but it'd be curious to me for something like that where and somebody who doesn't know who you are, and I guess yeah. here's a question mm -hmm. that an hour in, but your this is your first question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, other than hour. if your arms are tired, uh, your uh, uh, I use this word quite literally. Your celebrity level of whatever that might be, you know, your knownness. Mm -hmm. um, in stand up, it's it's different than other stuff. People might not know who a stand up comedian is, but that means then they're not going to go see them perform stand up. Right. So, right. like the percentage of people in your at your shows who know you. Mm -hmm. has to be pretty high it is now yeah it wasn't always the case but right. um uh certainly the last three tours that was the case but going back thank to you for your service by the way a what thank you for your service yes um boy the puns coming out are they bothering Why? you <laughs> they're they're it's just a lot of dad jokes yeah in a in a good way i don't mind them at it's all just they're jokes i would make and now i appreciate somebody else making those um you know, I don't know if I'm even making fun of a pun anymore. Originally, it was making fun of the pun, and now you just no, see them, so you say them. You say them. See, if you see something, say something, right? Um, First base. What was I saying? Uh, people know you. Oh, yeah. The, when I did the Making America Great tour, that was the last one where there were a fair number of people who weren't familiar with the stand-up, but were familiar with you know, whatever thing they saw. Would it that, probably be Arrested Development? Arrested or, you know, uh, of whatever. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you're going to a smaller town uh, and there's not a ton to do. So if I'm rolling through, you're like, oh, that guy's coming in two months, three months. Let's get tickets and we'll get a babysitter and we'll go, you know, in a, in a, a place that doesn't have that many options. So... You know, they're more apt to go, oh, great. The guy from The Thing is coming. He does stand up. Yeah, let's go check out his jokes. I have an observation of your brand of comedy that I would have made before watching the Mark Marin episode, mm -hmm. but validated in that when you guys were talking about like pushing and mm -hmm. men like wanting people to like you, but not letting that necessarily affect your creative decisions. Mm -hmm. And the difference between, I, I, uh, I only recently started doing shows where people are now coming to see me because of this podcast. This mm -hmm. is the reason. Right. Um, and it's flattering and it's nice and I like it. Uh, it doesn't have the same thing to me that I love, which is um, being able to play with more expectations because people are sure. further away from what they know. Of me. <coughs> Excuse um, me. And, well, that's uh, something they're going to, that's something you, it's a trade off, you know, uh, and, and unfortunately, unfortunate but it's you'll be able to get away with less weird stuff that makes which i used to do a lot you mm -hmm. know like where the audience is questioning like is this for real what's going on and but that's the trade-off i would love know? to hear like have a talk with you about that um like in the idea of what you were saying on that episode with mark where ideally everybody likes me and gets what i'm doing in a way mm -hmm. um Operational costs is at least some people won't. Mm -hmm. um, but in a perfect world, even the people that do get it, in order for them to enjoy it to the level that you're creating it, there has to be some, if not discomfort, at least curiosity, some, I don't know what's happening yet. 
before they do. Right. Um, have you had to change the way you write because people, in an indirect way, the Holocaust joke, I don't think too many people in the, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think too many people are thinking, oh no, he's going to say something horrible here. They trust you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Especially you, that crowd. That was, you know, they came to it, yeah. paid their money, and it was in Brooklyn, and, you know, um, which is why I said I miss, uh, I'm, I'll... Traveling the country? Yeah, it'll always kind of, you know, be a, a bit of a bummer that I wasn't able to go out on the road and do, in particular, that opening bit. And then the subsequent material that followed mm -hmm. immediately after that, like, uh, you know, because you know there'd be people that some people would cheer and some people would boo, you know. Do but as far as the rewriting for people knowing you or just wanting to change stuff, like your, like your sketches were so odd, and your sense of humor is ah, uh, I mean, I I mean odd, like you're odd. Well, I, I don't not in a stigmatized way, just uh, I mean not typical. Okay. Um. I mean, I don't think my stand-up is particularly out there or... The character. You know. Do you disagree? Do you well, I, I, I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, and, and look, you're, you're, I'm way in here and I have been in here, so I don't know it very well. And I, you know, when I will leave it to other people uh, to mm -hmm. tell me how I'm funny, why I'm funny, what, because I, I, I don't really filter it through this kind of lens. I just do what I, what comes instinctively to me. And, uh, uh, but then, you know, occasionally somebody will say, well, you, you're like this, or you do this thing, or this is a, a aspect of your stand up persona and that I hadn't thought of. I'll go, oh, interesting. Okay. That makes sense. But I, I don't really think about it like that. That's fair. With any art, it's it's you know everyone receives it differently, and it's a projection yeah. of you know their wants or or self. Um, and perhaps that's where I felt connected to it is because I felt that way about me, and I'm like, oh, he does that thing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I I was clearly influenced by certain people, and uh, um, I mean, I'm my own person, but you can see uh -huh. if I Ooh. go well early on, Andy Kaufman very much. Um, excuse me, um, and. Uh, like my comic idols were like Richard Pryor, Jonathan Winters, um, uh, George Carlin, um, you know, uh, Bill Hicks, you know, later on, um, my peers, you know, uh, Mike Peters. Oh, my, my peers, my peers oh my and Mike Peters, uh, who, you know, was Mike his, Peters and John Hopkins. Very yeah. funny. Um, You know, but uh, uh, I just, I just, and also you learn as you keep doing it, you learn, okay, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm not very good at. So let's not try to do that. Let's try to do the thing that I'm good at. And, uh, um, and there's just stuff that you are, you know, drawn towards. Like, I'm going to, here's this idea, and I'm going to tell it this way, you know, which could be a universal idea, you uh -huh. know. Um, I've had conversations with some of Mike Peters on this show and friends where like it, it actually a lot of comedians and I say this just from the sample of people I've asked can't define what they're good at which I think is such a big miss for them to not think about mm -hmm. like what are your what is your thing or maybe couple of things that you could hit it um, nobody's offered that up until you saying, I know what I'm good. I'm not, it's such a simple thing, but I would love if, if you're able to articulate, like, what are you good at? I'm, I'm good at, uh, leading you down a path. Uh, 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 an example is that opening bit. Um, I can talk seriously about something that you are hanging on to. Uh, and it makes sense, and it sounds like I'm going into a uh, kind of a poignant uh, summation of the thing that is serious, the serious topic, uh, whatever that may be. Um, and then it'll have a punchline to it that you didn't see coming. I'm very good at that, misleading in a way. I had a joke 
Uh, I don't know what it's. It's an earlier one. Uh, I don't remember which uh, special or album or whatever, but it's about dealing with depression. And I was, you know, um, you know, clinically, um, what's the word? Uh, Depressed? Well, you know, diagnosed as uh, what I thought was depression, but it turned out to be anxiety. Uh, And that's just because I was naive. I didn't know what was what i just thought oh i'm you know and and i went to see a a therapist who uh, told me to go to a psychiatrist and and so i was dealing with all this stuff and i talk about it i talk about getting on zoloft and going off on and off and all this stuff uh, that i was uh dealing with depression from you know a fairly young age and then the whole thing which is all true and real ends with the punchline and it's not going to do it justice here obviously but uh where it's like and then i found out what the cause the root cause of this depression was and it turns out the entire time i had a rock in my shoe (laughs) and that's a long fucking Mm -hmm. journey and everybody's hanging on it because they it's so i do i'm good at that (laughs) i do that in every there are those moments in every Uh special and every uh thing and i'm i'm good at that um uh i am not good at super high energy which i've tried uh especially like not when i'm out on the road or anything but earlier when i would uh not be 100 percent there and the the uh, because there were multiple comics on the bill the comic comedy was going a certain way and I'm like, I'm going to punch this up. And it's just not me. And I tried it. I tried doing, you know, kind of more, uh, I don't want to say crowd pleasing, but you know, just the little tricks, you know, and, uh, and that's not, that doesn't work. And, you know, do you feel that that's particular to stand up versus acting? Are you able to feel more confident in different, energies in your characters oh for sure yeah because you s- do seem like somebody who could play high energy pretty well oh yeah if it's if it's acting i'm talking about delivering material right. in a specific way um and i thought i get i if i if i was good at it it would be kind of easier more fun and the whole again this is a while ago this isn't like where i am now but the whole show would have a dip you it would have a different feel to it in a good way you know you're saying the energy so you wanted to match it yeah i was trying to i was trying to be a you know not take so much time and and you know try to be more economical and succinct with my material and um and kind of the opposite of what i do you know Mm -hmm. uh and you know, something I tried just trying to, uh, cause I, it appealed to me if I could do it, you know, like there's certain comics who just come out of the gate and I admire that. It's just not me, you mm-hmm. know, the, uh, the people you look up to, uh, mm-hmm. had a pretty big energy. Yeah. Is there a confidence that you have now in I'm going to be whatever energy I am? That- oh yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing and I, uh, I mean, I don't know what do, well, I got like seven, eight, nine specials and CDs and whatnot. I don't know. I mean, I've got I'm, I'm no HCA awards. Uh, I no, I have several. Um, I have a like a weird sculpturey design thing that I took all of them and made you like know. a Game of Thrones chair out of awards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen Game of Thrones uh, or it's chairs. Hilarious. But. You would like it. Okay. Um, do you know the chair I'm talking about in Game of Thrones? I've seen the they uh, melded it with tons of different swords. Oh, I see. Yes, I do know. I know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's nice. very much like that. Good. Um, cool, cool. But it's not a chair. It's a no bigger award. It's a hammock. But anyway, um, so yeah, I I uh, sometimes am really big energy, and then sometimes I'm not, and uh, I had to uh well i'm not feeling this big energy so i'm not going to do my big energy material um 
So you have different material based I on... I did okay. uh, for a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the past maybe two years, if that, um, I started to not do that. And I'm only recently am I... Am I, I still don't know what's efficient, but I do know I don't like the feeling. I use props. Mm -hmm. um, not always, but I use some props. Um, not uh, That is for my... Uh, as we see it, this is what I use for okay. when, on stage. Great. Um, and quite literally, sometimes it's like, I don't want to have to bring that thing. Um, mm -hmm. Or I don't want to have to wear that outfit. Uh, it feels similar with the energy. I don't want to have to do this bit or I don't want to have to not do this bit. So I've been trying to be okay with doing the same material in whatever I'm feeling like. Fuck yeah. In that moment. Yeah, well, um, you should. It's I, I uh, it's crazy how long st I, I've been doing this now for I don't know sixteen years. Uh, take off a few for COVID. Um, how long it's taken me to? It wasn't even like confidence. It was like uh, I didn't think it you could could do that. Mm -hmm. And just how like oh I could talk about anything in any way. Yeah. Um, and I feel like it has made me a calmer person off stage. Even that's good. Uh accepting that like oh whatever i am is fine however where that does get in the way into the question i was asking before is there are some things that need a certain energy just to be believable mm -hmm. and if people know you already or expect things from you already i find it to be a little i get uh i don't know if insecure is the right word but in my head about talking about stuff on stage that i've talked on the podcast because mm -hmm. they already know does that do you connect to that at all? Do you not care? Um, no, I, I I get that, but then you know you have just have to kind of find a different context for it, you know, for the for the thing that you want to talk about that you already talked about on your podcast, or you talk about bits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, I'm glad I asked that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Uh oh, you gonna get a Peabody? Oh, this guy. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll bring him in. No, no, no. <laughs> Even as a joke. No, no, no. Let me hear the You into crypto? What? You into cryptocurrencies? I uh, love them. Good. Good. I used your towel. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's for you. Okay. And I'll be washing that and everyone will have a new towel. <laughs> So earlier today, uh, I got, I'm on a TV show, and we're filming our second season at the moment. What is it? Uh, it's called Not Dead Yet. It's okay. on uh, ABC. And, is it good? Um, it's the best. Oh, okay. Um, a, a sitcom or? It's a sitcom, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, a multi-camera or one cam? Single, single cam. cam. Yep. Uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, but I bring it up because earlier today, I got a text from the line producer. I still don't have all the information, so like... Who knows if I'll take this out uh, by the time this airs in June. But I, uh, it might be June. Okay. I have a big back catalog. Okay. Um, it's funny. It's funny. Something. Yeah. Uh, he goes, uh, uh, the executive producer, he texted me this morning. He goes, the executive, I know you're not working today, but could you come in? The executive producers want to talk to you. And I don't think I did anything, but I, uh, how are you on time? This story won't take too long, but I'm feeling like it's a few minutes. I should, Do you have a few minutes? Yeah. Well, we could end it. Okay. But we we'll, 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 tell the story, then we'll yeah, go. This will be a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I came into some self-awareness about seven years ago. I found out some things about myself, and I also found out that I sometimes, let's just say, could bother people or annoy people or do things that had I known, I wouldn't have. I, right. It wasn't I, that I, I didn't care. I got you. So uh, I'm not going to call that a trauma, but I'm aware like a lot of the times... Am I going to be okay? Am I doing something bad? Uh, so I'm pretty sure I haven't been. Although we did this of thing uh, for uh, uh, critics and advertisers, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I was in a bit of a mood. Uh, I was in a little bit of a silly mood. Mm -hmm. And I made some choices that some to me were funny and some were like, oh, we would edit around that. But who who cares? Stakes, who cares? It was nothing. It was This is like a talk or like a, a TCA. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Just, you know, and then doing some stuff and... Like, uh, I, uh, I'm kid I, I have a scene, uh, uh, there's a through line with one of the other characters that now we're like hooking up with each other. Mm -hmm. And 
Uh, they said, what is it like for blah, 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 blah. And everyone gave real answers to stuff. And then I said, if there's anything I learned in show business, it's if your boss tells you to make out with one of your coworkers, you better do it. Just a throwaway, yeah, not yeah. a dangerous joke, but like no. pretending to be that. Yeah. It was a nothing thing. Didn't think anything of it. Why would you? Because it, exactly. Yeah. But then I got that text and I'm like, now what could it possibly be? I have no idea. And uh, it was supposed to meet and, and I can't come in. Can we Zoom? And yes, and it was supposed to be before you came. And I was thinking like, I don't think I'm going to get fired. But if I do, it is what it is. And that it's okay. And I could still podcast if I got fired. I mean, there's a, it's probably worse in your head. Whatever you're thinking, it's probably not going to be like you're fired or probably behavior. not. Especially like they're not going to say, "Will you come into the studio for us to fire you?" They probably yeah. make it a little easier on me. But I did say, um, this "They're not going to fire you." Uh, again, I, I don't think that's what's going to happen. I just wanted to be prepared of like, could I have this phone call before this? Because if I got yeah. fired, would I be too in my head to have this? Sure. And I psych, psych myself up like. I'm grateful for the work. I'm sure I could find something else. It'll be yeah. okay. I hope that doesn't happen. Like that's the conversation. Yeah, yeah. I'm having. Um, I even followed up before. I'm like, hey, this feels a little cryptic. Cryptic. Is there anything you could tell me in advance yeah. just so I get an idea? And he just said they they just want to chat. So I'm like, okay, what could that? Is it? Did I make a joke? That I, you know. Anyway, now I just got a text from from. Uh, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but I got mm -hmm. a text from person who does my my makeup. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and she goes, hey, I'm going to be the messenger of some news that they're not loving the direction of the mustache predominant facial hair because I had a mustache the past two episodes. Oh, that's And they'd like you is. to trim it. I don't know, but I'm thinking if that's what it is. That's what it is, of course. And I'm fine. I've been, truly, I have. But I, I got to have a talk with this line producer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's it's insane. Not cool. It's not cool. Yeah, I want, it's really not cool. You're right. You're 100% right. And then to, and then to, to I mean, it was three hours she before you got know here. that. Yeah. Yeah. I once got a voicemail from a... But because I was going to say, isn't it, it like, you know, eight out of ten times, it's that. It's the thing about, hey, they don't like, uh, you know, they want you to wear this thing or they want you to do that. Is that cool? Like, oh, yeah, I thought it was But it might not be. Terrible. I still find it hard to believe. Why would they ask me to come in to tell me about the facial hair? I still feel like there's something I'm missing. Maybe. We'll find out. But, but also, I think they're pretty... A lot of people are lazy about uh, not really thinking about how things are received. No, no, not really thinking about the convenience or lack thereof to you. They're like, hey, this guy, we pay him a salary. He's uh, we need him to come Schlepped down to Culver City so we just, can tell him to shave. Yeah, tell him to tell him. I mean, seriously, people a lot of times are like just, you know, they don't really think about it like that. Like, I you know. guess. I mean. Yeah, I believe you. That makes sense. I'm still skeptical of like that. Can't, that can't. That was so dramatic. Well, as they you just said, you chat. gotta you gotta talk to the line producer. Yeah. Um. I one of my best friends once left me a voicemail. Uh. Uh. I woke up to it in the morning. Uh. Rick, this is really important. Please, could you call me? And then I woke. And then I couldn't get a hold of him for a while. Right. Like that. I woke up in the morning. I didn't get a hold of him until nighttime that day. Yeah. Um. And he goes, "Oh, it's fine. I need. I don't even remember what it was. Yeah. I'm so, like, dude, you can't just yeah. Basically, say, help me, help me, help me, and then. Oh, we figured it out. I was locked out. Like, give me a follow up. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you got your special um, uh, that is already out now. Mm -hmm. uh, and the link is in description. Okay. Your podcast, uh, My Senses Are Overwhelmed with David Cross. No, Sense is Working Overtime. Consider the difference. Consider changing it. Why? Just because. Because to make it easier for you to leave that. That way we don't have to voice over what it really is. Yeah, but then, I, then I've got to redo the art and re redo everything, All really. Right. So we'll put a link to the description there. Uh, anything else? Instagram? No. You don't IG? Nope. I mean, no, I have a thing on there, but I don't do any of that stuff. Okay. I uh, I got off social media a while ago, and I'm glad I Smart. did. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, when All Things Comedy reached out that, that you were doing stuff... Um, uh, there's been a few guests where they're like, hey, do you want to have this person on? And I think like, what? Like that would be, that, yeah, that's crazy. Um, so despite I only asked you four questions, uh, <laughs> I love that you did this. And I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Oh, yeah, and thank my you pleasure, man. Over, man. It's, uh, and I like the setup. I like it's very unique. I'll check it out. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'll, let me get a Polaroid of you and then you're, yeah. you're done. Oh, theme music. Scoot-doo. Do you want to hold the award? 
Oh, yes. One, two, three, four. Blavity blue. Scoop D. Oh, yeah. Skiddle, <laughs> <laughs>